Hey, I'm Darcy, and welcome to Screencasts Online. In today's video, we're looking in depth at Moom 4, the newest update to a versatile and feature rich window management app. With Moom, you can use actions to create custom dimensions and layouts for windows. Then use keyboard shortcuts to snap those windows into place. This is ideal for anyone who tends to work with multiple apps at a time, and certainly anyone who uses multiple apps and windows across two or more displays. Moom is one of many apps by the developer ManyTrix. We've got a link down below so you can get to their website and download the app. We'll be covering basically every feature mentioned here on the web page. For now, hit download and install the app. Because the app isn't available in the Mac App Store, you may get this warning saying that it's from an unidentified developer. Go ahead and hit open, you should only need to do this once. There are many different ways to activate Moom. The first of which is by hovering your cursor over the green dot in the palette. Ten different icons appear, and these all represent different ways of arranging and resizing your windows. Click the icon in the top left. This increases the size of your window to fill the entire screen without going full screen. With the next two buttons, we can make the window take up the left half of the screen or the right half of the screen. We can do the same by automatically filling the top half or the bottom half of the screen. Notice that while I've been making these changes to the window sizes, a new icon has appeared, an arrow pointing to the left. At any time, I can click this undo icon, and the window will return to its original dimensions from when we first started. To show off the bottom row of icons, I'm going to use two different windows. One is a pages document, and the other a safari window. Using this bottom set of icons, we can actually arrange windows to sit with each other at different dimensions. For instance, when I click this icon, the Safari window takes up the left two thirds of the screen, and the Pages document takes up the last third. There's another button here to split them 50 50 left and right, and another to split them 50 50 top and bottom. There are even more options if you hover your cursor over the menu icon in the bottom right corner. Here we can manually split our windows into the thirds of the display. So I'll do that now, I'll put Safari on the left, and I'll go on to put Pages on the right. Leaving the center empty. Lastly, for our initial demonstration, I want to show off this grid icon. When I select it, a white square appears on the screen. And if I click and drag, I can increase its dimensions. Then, when I let go, the window will snap into the dimensions that I just drew. You can move in any direction and any size, as you can see when I do it with the Pages window. And you can even start from a different location. Just don't actually click until you've highlighted the part of the screen that you want to start on. Then click and drag. And as I showed before, if you're ever unhappy with the dimensions or just want to return to what it was, Click on the undo arrow for each window.